Hello, Rita here, back with the tip shaping series. Gonna go ahead and show you, my YouTube homies, how to shape a stiletto nail from a tip. Now, some people do not call what I'm about to do a stiletto. Some people call it a pointed almond. You know, some people call it a long cat claw. I call it a stiletto. This is going to be my stiletto and that's what you guys have to do. You have to decide what your nail shapes are and make it clear to the client. Let them see your an example of what your shapes are so there won't be any surprises on what they end up getting. So anyway, what you see here is a dot. This dot is approximately where the number on the tip was. So. This can help you as a guide. Um, I don't need it, but I did it for video purposes. But when I first started doing this, I did need it. You do need a good pair of scissors, guys. These are Fiskars. These are the best you can get. Um, I got them from the fabric store um, for like, they're originally $16, but I got them on, um, on a sale day. So they were half that. But you need a sharp pair of scissors to do this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead, take that tip, like you at an angle, and you're going to go ahead and cut it like that. You know, cut it pretty much narrowed in like that. Then you're going to go ahead and go on the other side of your dot, and you're going to go ahead and cut it. And that's basically to get your shape. You're not trying to perfect the shape. You're just trying to get the shape started. Then with your file, you're going to go ahead and perfect the shape. Okay. You're going to hold your file like this at an angle. And you're going to just go ahead and file inward. Okay. And then you're just going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Go ahead and position that. You're going to make sure that you are keeping a point in that tip that you cut. Okay. And you're just going to angle it. Keep your keep your file angled. And again, you're going to alternate from side to side. You don't want to stay on one side, okay? And you're going to just check, of course, from the client's view. Off comes that nail. Off comes that finger, rather. And you can definitely see. You know which side needs to go and you're definitely keeping the point of your tip as you do this and you're just taking the sides there and narrower and narrower to where you want it okay and just keep in mind the narrower you make this the more acrylic you're going to need to use to give the tip strength because you've we've cut away a lot of the tip for that support so you're going to have to build it up with the acrylic okay and this is really pointy and sharp I won't do these nails like this like I will blunt it out and you can blunt it out by just going ahead and going across it a little bit to take away the sharp point of it. That's just me. You you don't have to follow what I do, but I'm not going to just make true, true sharp um, nails. Okay, that's still pretty sharp, but it's not like it was before, before I rounded it. And that's it, guys. You are just going to make sure that you have it tapered in evenly as much as you can on both sides. Of 
course you can't do that with a client's finger but for the sake of this video it's just easier just to go ahead and do the side of the tip all right uh-huh so that's my stiletto okay just going ahead and if you have any questions if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the uh, comment section. Like if this was helpful, and subscribe if you have yet to become a part of the family.